Hello everyone, Ex Bethelite here, and I have a question for Jehovah's Witnesses to answer. If Jesus Christ or Jehovah are leading Watchtower or Jehovah's Witnesses, why is it that as older governing body members die off and new governing body members are appointed with these new people come changes throughout the organization. You have little TV screens in kingdom halls now. You got a cartoon that they're producing for kids. You have broadcasts. You have magazines that are a lot thinner than what they used to be you have the entire headquarters being sold at Brooklyn you got a whole nother facility being built at Warwick with these new people people that get placed in position of power come all these changes all these changes came when the old governing body died off and got older and new people came in. Now, who's making these decisions? Is it Jesus? Because if it's Jesus making decisions, things wouldn't change according to how old the governing body got and new people coming in. It wouldn't matter if 30 new governing body members came in and left. If Jesus was running things, they would be ran the same way continuously. But it's obvious. There have been so many changes, it is ridiculous. And those changes come with new people. And those new people bring new ideas. like cart witnessing. If Jehovah or Jesus wanted people standing next to carts, they would have been standing next to carts before new governing body members came in with these new ideas. These ideas are coming from men, not from God. All these changes are evident throughout the organization. No one, no Jehovah's Witness will honestly tell you that there hasn't been a ton of changes from 10 years ago till today. How do we account for those changes? Changes in structure. You have JW Org on people's jackets now on the buildings internet has been out for a long time Jesus or Jehovah <laughs> wanted things a certain way that's how they would have been not just because new people come in and these men put their ideas in place because Jehovah's Witnesses need to understand that they are following Men, they're putting their entire lives on the line for men they know nothing about. You have Morrison there now, Tony Morris. You have Anderson or Sanderson in there now. You have Jackson in there. And I think you got somebody else. I may not know who it is. But the interesting thing is Jehovah's Witnesses, they know nothing about these people. Just that they were appointed to be in position of power and make decisions over their lives. The fact that men are making these decisions and not Jesus or Jehovah is about as evident as anything could possibly be. You wouldn't have changes in doctrine such as over 
lapping generations. None of these people spoke to Jehovah or to Jesus Christ. Where did that come from? An angel? It came from men. Men that people are willing to sacrifice their families, sacrifice their lives. If they need a blood transfusion, they're going to ask Tony Morris and Sanderson and whoever all else. People they don't even know or know much about them. But the fact that these individual people are making decisions, we have proof of that because of the way Watchtower was before when you had the older governing body in. And then you get new governing, younger people in. And now everything's on the Internet. And now the music, they're trying to make it a little bit more jazzier. And now the music, they, they got the, the words to the song going down the screen, uh, just like they have at churches now. Now they got broadcast just like the Mormons have broadcast. And they've got people standing next to carts just like Scientologists set their displays up and, and, and sit next to it or stand next to it. These concepts aren't coming from Jehovah. They're coming from these new men. Where are they getting it from? Obviously, they're getting it from people who've done it before them. Churches have been doing this. Watchtower is becoming more like churches. And structure is except for the extreme do what these people tell you tell you or you'll be shunned from your family and friends and everything else. That's where it's a cult. Where people lose their entire family. That's that's where it's a cult. But Jehovah and Jesus would not structure something based off of Babylon the Great. If the Mormons have been having broadcasts from their leaders for years and years and years before Watchtower ever thought of it, before the old governing body knew nothing about it, then new people come in and, man, those Mormons are having these broadcasts. Let's do the same thing. Jesus would never have done that if Watchtower's doctrine is true and all these other religions are Babylon the Great. He wouldn't structure everything based off Babylon the Great. You have all these other churches and a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses don't know this because they're not allowed to go inside these churches, but they have a big screen up. And on that screen, when people are singing songs, you got the song up there. And when people are reading scripture, you've got the scripture up there on the screen, just like Jehovah's Witnesses are doing now. Pattern off of what churches have been doing for a long time. They've changed the name of meetings <laughs> Change the name of the theocratic ministry school. If Jesus or Jehovah didn't want a theocratic ministry school, there would never have been one in the first place. It changed when new men came in to power. And they would not have had the a power or authority to change something that Jesus Christ had established. If I'm a governing body member, I can't go changing things that Jehovah God or Jesus Christ themselves directed through the spirit. I wouldn't have the authority to do that. I can only change it. I only have the authority to change it. If men established it to begin with, then we know we can just come in and make improvements. You can improve on things that men thought of to begin with. 
So when you see all of these changes, you, you think, why do we have all these changes? The answer is obvious. We have new, younger governing body members. We have new, younger people in charge as the older people pass away. So Watchtower, just like any other church that they point the finger at and, and blame for the structure changing. Watchtower does the same thing. As people get older, they pass away. Uh, the leadership dies off. New leadership comes in and they change doctrine and structure and everything. <laughs> Back in the day, if there was a kingdom hall like the kingdom halls we have now 10 years ago, they would have DF every person that had anything to do with changing the music, putting up TV screens to put pictures up and show the words to the song. And then if people were standing next to carts, JWs 10 years ago would have drove by them like, that's not what we're supposed to be doing. That's not preaching door to door. But Watchtower's changed all those things now. And Jehovah's Witnesses just, you say jump, how high is what they ask. They don't look into any of this. How do Jehovah's Witnesses know Watchtower has not gone rogue? If you're a Jehovah's Witness, and you were into it when before all these changes took place. How do you know all these changes are a good thing? How do you know Watchtower hadn't gone vogue, rogue, I should say, like Jehovah's Witnesses believe every church went rogue? Wouldn't a whole lot of changes bring up an alarm? So this is something to think about for uh, people who uh, aren't brand new, but know that there has been a ton of changes in the organization as new people have come in. Why are people running something that is supposed to be spirit directed? Then you have governing body members starting to say that they're not uh infallible and all kinds of things. All these changes that are happening. How do you know Watchtower hasn't gone rogue? You can't be the doctrine because they keep changing the doctrine. So it can't the doctrine itself isn't better than any other church's doctrine. Otherwise, they wouldn't always have to correct something because it's always something wrong. Can't be the structure that makes it the truth because they keep changing the structure. Got TVs up now. You didn't have those before. Everybody's got tablets before now. Had had all these people been running around with tablets before, people would have thought it was worldly. So you have an organization that is, you could say, a whole lot more worldly than the organization used to be. How do you know you're still in the right place? Well, scriptures say to make sure of all things. There's nothing wrong with checking to see if these things are right versus just following what people say and thinking everything other than these people are bad and you know nothing about the people making all these changes. So 937-789-4029, comment down below. Let me know what you think with all the changes that have come in with all the new people coming in. Is it not obvious that it's the people that were responsible for the entire structure of Watchtower to begin with? And it was the people that had been in charge of Watchtower's doctrine to begin with. That's why they, they change all these things change with new people coming in. Let me know. Comment down below. X Walk Hill Bethelite signing out.